Hi, my name is Praveen and I decided to uh, drink this lemon brisked iced tea. And uh, I just wanted to look at the back and see what ingredients I'm drinking and everybody else is drinking. So um, as you can see, there are lots of things on the back. And today I'm gonna discuss a couple of ingredients that we don't even know that there are and we still drink. So um, I'm gonna start off with, uh, so I'm starting off with water. Uh, we're good with water, glucose, fructose, and sugar. We're fine. Citric acid. I don't know what citric acid, but we can find out. Citric acid. And we'll press right here to Wikipedia. Citric acid is a weak organic acid that has the molecular formula. It occurs naturally in citric citrus fruits in biochemistry and is an intermediate in the citric acid cycle, which occurs in the metabolism of all aerobic organisms. So we found out the meaning and I just want to go down here and go to safety. And although a weak acid, exposure to pure citrus acid <clears throat> can cause adverse adverse effects. Inhalation, inhalation may cause cough shortness of breath or sore throat. Over ingestion may cause abdominal pain and sore throat. So obviously it's not good for you, for anybody. So I'll just go back and... And I'll just, and I'll move on to the next one. So citric acid, instant tea, sodium hena hexamethosphate. It's so hard to even spell. So we're gonna see uh, sodium, Sodium sodium and then oh my god hexa meta hexa meta phosphate even Google knows okay so sodium hex Hexamentophosphate is a salt co of composition of commerce is a typically of a mixture of metaphosphates of which the hexamer is one and is usually the compound referred to by this name. Um, so obviously it's probably not good for you as always. And um, next on our list is, let's see. And next on our list, we can see natural flavors, phosphoric acid. I don't know what that is. Phosphoric acid, first one. Phosphoric acid is a colorless, wordless, crystalline liquid. It gives soft soft drinks a tangy flavor and prevents the growth of mold and bacteria, which can multiply in a sugary solution. Most of soda's acidity also comes from phosphoric acid. So it gives, pre it prevents the growth of mold and bacteria um, right here. And uh, it gives soft drinks a tangy flavor. So, it's probably not good for you. And we can on to the next one. 
Sodium benzoid. We don't know what that is either. Sodium benzoid. Sodium benzoid. We can go over here. Studies suggest that sodium benzoid may increase your risk of inflammation, oxidative stress, obesity, and allergies. It may also convert to benzene, a potential carcinogen, uh, but the low levels found in beverages are deemed safe. So I don't know really if it is safe or they're telling the truth, but I'll just move on. So the next one is potassium sorbate. Potassium sorbate. Don't know what that is, but we'll find out. Sodium Potassium, potassium, sodium, potassium, sodium, and I'll just end it. Potassium and sodium are electrics needed for the body to function normally and help maintain fluid. Potassium. Potassium is found in vegetables, fruit, seafood, and dairy products. I don't really know what if it's good either. So um, after um, looking at a couple of these um, these um, ingredients, I maybe may or have not changed my mind to drink this, and I hope everyone changes their mind. Um, and I hope we all just stick to water for now. So, um, and uh, as you can, as you saw, there are a lot of carbs and things you should be really having right now. So I hope everybody changed their mind to water. <laughs> and uh, thanks for ha having, thanks for the time. And all, and thanks for the time. Thank you.